What's up, everybody? All right, so every producer's dream, problem, issues, whatever. But have you ever been in a situation where you had to update your equipment, update your gear, or hit that software update button and kept your fingers crossed hoping that everything would work properly afterwards? Yes. I've been there. Recently, I had to make the decision to upgrade my studio. So what you're going to see in this video is me talking about consolidating two laptops and a Mac Pro into one MacBook Pro 13 inch badass production super horse. <laughs> that is exactly what is going to happen. But I want to share this journey experience with you because a lot of research went into it and I ended up updating a couple other things in the studio as well, like my monitor, the power strip, and a few other uh, items in here. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you at the end. I got a new MacBook Pro 13 inch this year, 2020. So that way I can consolidate my devices for producing, DJing, video editing all in one shot so that we can do this, make it seamless between whatever I'm working on, whether it's here in the studio or, uh, you know, out my little like DJ production area and the other side of my house, all that jazz. So make it simple. So everything we see here, like I'm updating stuff. So I've got a new monitor. Um, haven't really updated the interface. Don't really think I need to because I've got the Apogee Duet, which is pretty solid and it'll be dope uh, for especially going like mobile or traveling and working with clients uh, outside of, you know, here. So I think it'll be cool, but it's going to change. Uh, definitely some much needed improvements, mainly because I don't buy equipment like that often. I use things until they don't allow me to keep up with the current trends in the music industry. And then the moment that I'm not able to do specific things, then it's time to up, then it's time to upgrade, right? Okay. So look, pull you guys around. So we are going to update. So you see, here's the Mac Pro. I know it's kind of dark, but that's going to change into the MacBook Pro, which most likely I will station here. Got this little holder. And then this Samsung, uh, I think it's like a 20 inch. No, it can't be like 17, 18 inch. I'm not sure. But uh, LED screen, um, as basic as it gets pretty much. This was like maybe $50 or something back in 2010. So that's going to be gone. I'm probably going to maybe sell it to somebody who does uh, mobile karaoke gigs or something like that. And I've got a 4K screen that's going to look so sick right here. Um, another, you know, a few other minor updates. Uh, got a new surge protector. But yeah, so next time you see this, it's going to have the new monitor, the laptop here, and uh, transition away from this. I've got a lot of files on that that I've backed up to the hard drive and I'll be able to use studio files or at least be able to back up and go to files that I may need. But I'm very much looking forward to starting from scratch and just using those files in the archive to be like, hey, here's what I was working on like four years ago. All right. So this is cool. So I want to do your typical <laughs> update snap ready. Okay. I, what? What? It works for everybody else. Why didn't it work for me? Okay, let me try it again. All right, well, I guess it's just not my thing. <laughs> I, I'll leave the magic to other people, so. All right, guys, I'm fucking pumped. All right, so what I'm doing now is removing this old power strip that I had. It was probably from the late 1990s, and I'd gotten it from work over 10 years ago. Plugs were kind of loose in it, but never had any issues over time. I'm upgrading to a studio surge protector that has an EMI filter, six ports, and supports up to 1,875 watts, which is perfect for my setup and should help minimize any noise during recordings. In the process, I've got the new Mac over here, the new MacBook Pro uh, behind me, and I was copying over a lot of the key files in the studio. So this is 10 years of projects and data, and I've pretty much got it. So the plan right now within this process is to deactivate as much as I can, close out iCloud, all that jazz on the Mac Pro Tower, 
And so that way I can try to sell it to somebody for parts or if they want a project computer. But what I'm going to do is almost clear it out completely. I'm not going to erase the hard drives yet because when I set up the new system, I just want to make sure that like by chance there isn't something that I have forgotten uh, within it. But I've got all like, you know, carried over all the important things like business docs, contracts, all that jazz uh, to make sure everything's settled. But it's a lot of work, 10 years. Uh, trying to make sure you got everything covered and especially keeping up with recent stuff and uh, lessons learned in the process, right? Organization starts with day one. So with this new MacBook Pro, I'm doing everything different, but I'm definitely excited to start disconnecting the the Mac Pro tower and getting the 4K monitor up, getting this laptop over and starting uh, getting all my plugins and everything set up so I can start making some music. Goal is, okay, that I want to be fully set up operational making music on this laptop that uh, i'm going to force myself to just depend on that so once i start disconnecting this mac pro then it's just game on and we're going to do it so as a status update i'll let you guys know as we get moving through this all right all right here is the very quick unboxing of the lg 4k ultra fine 23.7 inch monitor that i purchased directly from the apple store i like the sleek look of this thing and also that it has the capabilities to power both my macbook pro and my audio interface which is pretty awesome Okay, this is the second time I'm rebooting the Mac Pro tower from 2010. This way I can clear the disk. Now, I've had two drives on this system, one for the music projects and the other for everything else. I was able to erase the music drive no problem, but I'm currently having issues erasing the other main drive. I am not giving up on this. I promise I am committed to clearing this baby out before I box it up so that way I can sell it and we can move on. And finally, I am wiping down the Mac Pro tower from 2010 to place it back in its box to hopefully sell it. And I'm also taking down the old Samsung monitor and setting up the new 4K monitor, which will be a great thing to have considering the amount of time that I spend at this console and looking at the screen, editing all those audio files, and now doing some video. It's definitely going to have its benefits for sure. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got it all set up. It looks pretty dope. I really like the 4K. It's definitely a big change from the last screen. Okay, everyone, here we are as I am sitting here in the studio, and we are now fully integrated using the new MacBook Pro 13-inch. I've got all of my software to include all of my plugins, transferred over, all of my files backed up. We are good to go, and I'm really enjoying this entire process. Now, if you're interested in the specs of the MacBook Pro 13-inch, the new one from 2020, comment below, and I'll be glad to share them and let you know exactly what I customized and what I didn't. And to be honest with you, I am really excited about this upgrade. It was a lot of work, and I put a lot of research into it. But to be honest with you, it was very much long overdue and I feel blessed okay it's been a rough year a lot of my DJ gigs if not all got canceled this spring because of the pandemic so trying to focus on upgrading and keeping my business afloat was a lot of work took a lot of planning but we did it and I'm super excited about the future projects that come out of this new studio setup all right guys so do me a favor if you enjoyed following me through this process of integrating and doing this new studio upgrade, please hit that like button. It lets me know that I was able to help somebody out and that you appreciated this content and it helps me grow and continue to establish this channel. Also, if you aren't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I've got some new music coming out and I'm going to do a recording setup tour so that you can see how I do my podcasts and all that jazz. Thank you again for watching this video and taking this journey with me as I updated my studio setup. I really appreciate the support and I look forward to the future content that I'm able to create and share with you. All right. See you at the next video, guys. We out.